Okay, yet another topology, which is no topology, Wi-Fi. Um, now, this is formally wireless LAN. Um, it is <coughs> uh, well, um, this is going to be based on uh, for specifics on 802.11b for Bravo. Uh, this is uh, I, you know long superseded by GNN and so forth, but uh, this will give you the basic ideas anyway. Um, so, as I said with Ethernet, wired Ethernet, we have collision detection. Um, you start transmitting and you listen. Keep listening while you're transmitting to see if anybody else is transmitting. And if so, then you detect a collision. And, uh, you know, there's uh, the back off and, and so forth. But um, Wi-Fi uses... Yeah, yes, and I, I guess I have to mention, I mean, it's 11 Bravo that we're talking about, but um, uh, this is generally going to cover everything. I'm just, I'm just going to say Wi-Fi uh, for this, and, and, you know, don't call me on specific details here. Um, just want to cover the, um, the broadest concepts for it. Um, anyway. So, uh, Wi-Fi is using collision avoidance. You know, it's still the same carrier sense, listening, um, multiple access, everybody wants to talk. Um, but the collision avoidance part is you don't start broadcasting your data. You broadcast a signal, a tone, um, indicating that you are going to start broadcasting. And you do this for a certain period of time. And again, this is where the uh, maximum length part of, of the cabling in Ethernet comes in. And it's, it's the same for uh, Wi-Fi, that uh, a Wi-Fi signal um, is not necessarily, well, I mean, it is physically limited in distance, um, you know, beyond a certain range, um, you get to attenuation and that sort of thing. But there's no reason you can't fiddle around with antennas and reflectors and things like that. Um, uh, somebody has uh, done some uh, work with Wi-Fi and made a connection over 300 kilometers downrange. So, you know, it is possible to do that, but that's in a very specific situation, and it's in an area where you are pretty sure you're not going to be uh, dealing with collisions. Um, and, uh, you know, you can just uh, extend the broadcast time of your tone. Anyway, uh, so you broadcast a tone, and that lets everybody else know uh, that you are going to be starting to transmit data within um, a given time. So they avoid transmitting. So that is the collision avoidance part. Now, um, again, this is wireless. So it's a, it's a broadcast situation. And everybody within range does it. Again, you've got um, the different channels. Um, in Bravo, uh, about 14 channels uh, that you're going to see. Um, the uh, if if you are having trouble, it's a good idea to you know get some kind of a tool to look at the channel, see who is using which channel, make sure that you are you know far enough away from 
a strong signal um, and uh, from noisy channels uh, to make your own networking more effective. Uh, so it's, you know, that's a, that's a consideration. Um, and in a sense, that's a security consideration in terms of the availability, stuff like that. But it's also a concern in terms of potential uh, jamming. And of course, um, in terms of the general idea of interception, you know, how far are you broadcasting? How strong is your signal? We, we've talked about that before, so. Now, the, there is uh, WEP and WPA and WPA2 and stuff like that. Now, WEP is wired equivalent privacy. Now, it's not particularly strong encryption. It can be broken. Um, but, uh, basically, there is no encryption on Ethernet. So if you get a hold of the wire, you are on the network. Um, but you have to get hold of the wire. You have to, uh, you know, fit, have physical access. And, and so, in a sense, yes, this is wired equivalent. Um, there is an equivalent level of difficulty in getting access to the wire as there is in breaking the encryption on web. So, uh, you know, you can argue uh, about uh, the relative difficulty of, of doing those things in different situations, but, um, you know, it is a level of difficulty, but it's not impossible. Um, and then, of course, uh, WPA, WPA2, increasing uh, strength of encryption and um, better uh, implementations to protect the confidentiality of the material that you're broadcasting on a wireless network. 